In this photograph, we have a picture of previous lifeboat crew. And this was probably taken in about 1975. And in that picture, there's quite a young crew. And one of them is mine and Blinda's dad. Uh, he was the coxswain of the lifeboat from 1970 up until he retired in 2005. But I remember these people very, very well. And they came from all walks of life. They did all sorts of things. We have people working in the shipyard. Uh, what else? We, we had somebody who used to run a fruit and veg shop. We've had a boat builder. We have electrician. So the people in this photograph did all sorts of things when they were in the lifeboat. So it's very nice to see this photograph. Some of the kit in the old station, where we used to hang them up because it was only a small boat. It used to be a barn at one time. So the building was very small. So everything could be seen as you opened up the doors. And again, a lot of history around the station walls, those boards around the walls. Um, they had all the rescues that the lifeboats did back from day one in 1825 back to the 1970s at the time. And that sort of been lots and lots of rescues. And in behind that again, you can't see it, but there's a, a wooden boat there. It was the boarding boat that used to take the lifeboat crew to the big lifeboat when it was moored into the river. You will see some of these people around still, but a lot older. But also, we still wear the same jumpers. That's not changed. But this is one I would wear on certain occasions, that type of jumper. Like it's Remembrance Day, occasions. you'll see us walking around the village on Remembrance Sunday wearing a jumper like this. So the jumpers haven't changed, but the crew and the station has changed. It's changed a lot. <laughs>